So following on from the latency video, um, I've made some changes to my training website. Um, and I'll go through those changes uh, in a moment, but I just want to show you kind of the, the impact of those changes. Uh, this is the same page with the disabled cache. And if you look down at the bottom, we have um, DOM loaded at 600 and well, under a second and the entire thing uh, loaded under a second, the load event fires under a second. We'll look at screenshots in a moment um, of kind of the time to first paint. Um, but I wanted to show you just compared to the previous version. So this is the version um, without any changes uh, with an empty cache. And you can see, you know, it takes quite a while. Basically, um, we have these 500, 400, 500 second um, latency blocks before anything gets downloaded. Um, and then the actual content comes down the wire. Um, and then this is the time it takes to parse a JavaScript, which triggers this token request, which once it has the token, it's able to render the entire page, which is why these images come in afterwards. Um, if we compare this to what we have now, you'll see that um, I still have the 400 and, well, 500 milliseconds latency because I'm going from the UK to a US server. Um, but now that I've put Cloudflare in front of the server, all of the other static, static content that belongs to me, so the uh, JavaScript and CSS, they don't have that same latency. Um, there's 18 milliseconds, so the whole thing takes 30 milliseconds. And if we have a look at the uh, JavaScript, similar kind of thing, 50 milliseconds. Um, and I've included um, a column, so I just right click, um, response headers, manage the headers, and I've included the, um, uh, the Cloudflare headers so I can see which ones are hits and which ones are misses. Um, and these are already primed in uh, Cloudflare's cache. So I'm getting a very fast response, even though I'm going across to the US and I still have those 400 milliseconds um, just to hit my server. The second thing I've done is to, um, this is the token request, which still takes similar kind of time. Well, in fact, it's a second here, but I don't rely on it anymore. I include a token in um, the original HTML. So the server side rendered HTML includes a token um, that would have been typically requested at this point. And what this code does, so if I look at where the, um, the request is initiated, if I go off to the, um, the code for this, um, what happens is it comes into this uh, React uh, router kind of middleware um, and it checks to see if it has a user already and a token. And if it has a token already and it's the first time we're doing this request, then it dispatches the, um, the update, which is what I was doing with the XHR call. And I'm, I'm calling the callback, which allows the navigation to happen in React's router. But then I say if, uh, so it wasn't, it was called, um, I set a timeout to update the token 200 milliseconds later. It's kind of an arbitrary number. And really the point is let everything settle on the page. Um, this could be kind of request um, idle. Uh, so when the user stops kind of interacting with the page, we could then go ahead and update the token, make sure they have a fresh version in their uh, cache. You know, there's probably other patterns to do this, but this was my kind of um, quick approach to fixing this. Um, and again, remember this is an empty cache. So if we compare this to a primed cache, if I just hit refresh now. So we have similar kind of timings, I mean, except that everything else is sub millisecond because um, it's all cache. So these um, dimmed out 200s, I'm pretty sure means it's a 302 or th uh, 302 or 304, whatever the number is. Um, so it says it's, it, it's basically running from memory. The only request that's actually hitting the server is the, um, the HTTP request, which is exactly the same amount of time, so 400 milliseconds, <clears throat> and the token request, which happens long after uh, we care about the page being rendered. We have similarly very kind of low um, load times. Um, again, if we switch over to um, what we had previously, this is the version without the cache. We still had these 400 millisecond latency blocks in front of anything that belonged to me. So the uh, CSS, um, the JavaScript, I don't know why there's two there. Um, oh, there was another uh, style sheet. Um, and we have the token and I'm all the images as well have the same problem. They have that 400 milliseconds in front. Whereas we compare what, to what we have now, everything is, you know, it's cached locally, it's cached in um, uh, Cloudflare, so it's much faster. And the other small changes I made. So um, 
The actual request going down the wire, this is a React app, but I switched out to Preact, and um, it is in here somewhere. Let me just disable the cache. So you can see here the um, the actual file size. The decompressed file size is 180k. Originally, it was 300k with React. So just swapping Preact in using kind of the, the Webpack tweak, alias tweak, um, cut away 100k just without any other changes. Um, and the compressed version went from 80k to 50k. Um, but actually, this also means that there's less JavaScript to parse. Um, and what we have here is something like yeah, 90 milliseconds to 97 milliseconds to parse. Where it was like 120, 130 milliseconds to parse. Not a big deal um, because the browsers are very quick to parse, um, but it's it's all kind of improvements that go towards um, a faster page. So um, this is a previous kind of a, a um, snapshot of the performance uh, that I have. So you can see the screenshots are coming in uh, straight away. Uh, in this instance, I think it was 100 milliseconds. If I just hit refresh. You can see, so I'm looking at Canary, which is why I have this slightly different view. I can see the network request coming in here. And um, somewhere we have screenshots. I seem to have lost my screenshots. Well. Still, um, it's much, much faster with just those small changes. So, um, you know, for, again, there's no service workers here, which will in increase that kind of second load for the page. Um, much faster, much happier. So the changes were uh, CDN in front of um, my server. I moved to server-side rendering for prerequisite tokens. Um, and <clears throat> I switched out to Preact, which saved me a bit of time kind of Downloading the uh, the bytes and uh, and a minor tweak, yeah. So the server side render minor tweak, deferring anything I I didn't really need up front. Um, going beyond that, I would probably look at service workers and possibly co chunking. Um, although I've not used co chunking before, but it's it it would be kind of the next step to make it even faster, which would reduce this kind of initial um, uh, JavaScript file coming down the wire, and I would just defer defer what I didn't need until later. So hopefully that's useful, um, and yeah, I'll maybe talk about this a bit later.